Hey guys, what's up? Tara Artist Movie here with another super duper exciting tutorial. And today I'm gonna be showing you a very very cool and easy trick <laughs> that you can do inside Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Alright, so let's just get started. First of all, as you can see right here, I get this footage from my Canon 5D Mark II. That is a DSLR camera. And the problem with the uh, DSLR camera um, sometimes it's not as good as of course obviously it's not as good at the film camera or the video camera so basically the HDR stuff is not as wide as video camera and sometimes uh, you know you get this problem uh, when you know the the highlight is too bright or washed out or on my case right here it's too dark as you can see here um, the background is too dark and uh, yeah, it's not looks so beautiful. Now, to fix that inside Premiere Pro or After Effects, you can go to the left side here for, for Premiere Pro. I'm using Premiere Pro right now, by the way. Uh, to the left side here on the Effects tab, you can type in Shadow. There you go. And then quickly on the Video Effects, you're gonna see Shadow Highlight. This is the effect. Just click and drag it to your video. I already have it here and uh, I'm gonna be showing you here this is the before footage and this is after you add the um, effect look at that look at the details on the trees so this is before too dark and after it's like I uh, shot it with a uh, <laughs> quite good uh, video camera all right so um but as you can see here uh, at default is gonna set it to auto mount so to me it's kind of too much as you can see here on the head area here kind of having some weird noise going on so I'm just gonna uh, you know set it myself shadow mount maybe for me not too bright uh, this is the original footage I'm just gonna punch it to around 30 that should do fine by the way if you have some, uh, for my case here I got some too dark you know uh, video uh, footage so you're gonna play with the shadow mount if you kinda if you having some you know washed out image with with too bright or whatever you can play with the highlight amount there you go make just basic basically makes it um, you know the highlight area a little bit darker but for my case of course I won't be needing this and there you go alright guys so I hope you are gonna find this tutorial useful and as you can see here is uh, look at the the, uh, the pattern here from his head this before after you can see the details on that pattern which is very very cool all right guys so Terra artist movie here I hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, thank you for watching and subscribing and uh, see you in the next cool videos and tutorials ciao <laughs>